Relax your mind and let your conscience be free. Let's get started. Hi guys, welcome back. Big problem, big problem. As you can see, my wood steps have failed, at least the right side. This is very dangerous, have to do something about it. Somebody can get hurt. Look at it, sagging real bad. Have to take them up. Never done this before, so this will be on the fly, if you know what I mean. Got the rigid impact out, DeWalt adapter. Let's see if I can get the screws out of the boards. Scratch that idea. I have to bring out some reinforcements. You know, I've had this Stanley crowbar for a while. I just don't know why I bought it. I'll see if I can put it in between the seams or the cracks, whatever you want to call it, and just lift as best as I can. It's starting to work. Just have to put a little more muscle into it. You know what I mean? A for effort, I guess. I got this piece. Look at this wood. Looks rotted. Okay, I'll keep it going. I'm not doing this in any particular order. Just the ones that are easiest to remove. I don't want to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. It's hammer time. You know what, guys? I can't quite put my finger on it, but it looks like they just put boards on top of boards. Where did this red one come from? Anyway, the left one is okay, but that right one failed, as you can see, and it failed miserably. Need to look under here and find out where we went wrong. Oh, look at all this. See, when you buy a house, there's a lot of stuff that happens and you don't know nothing about. Looky here. Yep, this two by four. And it looks like it was the only thing holding this thing up. I guess that's how things were done back in the day. If you did that now, you would have to be a real scumbag. So I'll just continue on with the demolition of the wood staircase. Seems like I'm all over the place, but I'll get that stringer out. Even this one, both of them. I'll get them both out if that's the last thing I do. I don't care how long ago it was. I do not care. There is no way in the world this passed an inspection. It couldn't have. Somebody got paid to look the other way. I'm in no way, shape, or form a building inspector. I don't know anything about codes or violations. I do know when these homes and buildings are rehabbed, they cut corners. They cut corners. They try to save every dollar they can, and they try to pocket as much as they can. It's a reality. I'm sorry need to measure this board so I can get the right size at the store. Going back to what I was saying, I've seen plenty of homes that were rehabbed, okay? These homes caught fire. They don't replace all those studs. Trust me, if they can save that stud, they'll keep it and they'll add another and they'll keep it moving. Then you come along and pay about five hundred dollars to $750,000 for a home that was in a fire. I'm not lying to you. I've seen it with my own eyes. I had to get my three-step stool so I can get back into the house. Okay, got the Ryobi. Let's do some work. Working on a bad angle so this isn't going according to plan. I finally got it. The Ryobi helped, but I had to get the crowbar and hammer. Look at the nails. Rusted, old. Man, it took a lot of effort. This was a lot of hard work. I had to go under here. Not a lot of room. As you can see, did the best I could. Time to buy some wood. Home Depot to the rescue. I really like these steps. Pricey, but I like them. Okay, here go the stringers. All right, got the four steps here and five step stringers here. Hmm, here's a thought. Why don't I get the fours? Okay, here go the fours and the fives. So two fives here and I'll get two fours. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, this is five. So I'll get two of these, two fours, and see what works. I ended up using the five step stringers. Think that works best. Kind of goes along with how it was. It's easier for me to install. Look at this. They just had this held up by a board. Unbelievable. Got some nails here. This red one, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'll do the best I can. Remember when I told you they still use old studs and two by fours? 
I might be able to use this. Still trying to get nails and screws out. Nails and screws. Can you believe it? Nails and screws. But that blade that's attached to the Ryobi bends easy. Love the Ryobi, but those blades are real cheap. I'll just secure it a lot better than what it was. On second thought, that won't work. By some miracle, both stringers are leveled. I don't know how, but it happened. I'll take that small victory. So I'm just staging the steps, trying to figure out my next move and the best move. So I know I'm going across. Okay. Might have to get rid of some of these studs. They're in the way. Look who's here. Wasn't going to do this job without the circular saw by Cabot. Still trying to figure this out. Proceeding with caution. I have to do something about this stringer. Both stringers. Especially this one though. Worried about the safety of people walking up and down the steps. I like how they're turning out though. Just have to be careful. These steps are real pricey. This is what I decided to go with. Real strong. Hope it secures the stringer a whole lot better. Safety issue, you know what I mean? Get a mallet if you don't have one. I need to move the step a little more. If I use a hammer, I could damage it. So get a mallet. Well, it happened. I messed up one of the steps. Of course, it's the last one. I'll go to the store and buy two more. The second one will be just in case. I think I got everything I needed. Hauling this stuff is a job in itself. Let's get out of here. I'm still having trouble. I don't know why. I'm pretty good at math. I don't get it. Okay, confident this will work. Let's see what happens. Finally, all four steps are finished. Phase one complete. This is a lot harder than I thought. My first time, though, guys, so bear with me. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.